uh, today. Uh, well, yes. I'm talking to Chris Rooney from Malcolm Hughes uh, Surveyors. So first off, thanks very much, Chris, for uh, taking a bit of time out to have a, a chat today. Well, no problem. Um, finally, finally meet you. Yeah, yeah, no, it's good, good to catch up. Um, so yeah. could, to start off with, could you just give a bit of background on uh, Malcolm Hughes in general and the the kind of area of the company that you work in and uh, the work that you surveyed for? Yeah, certainly. So um, I'm Chris Rooney, the Utility Survey Manager for Malcolm Hughes Land Surveyors, who are one of the largest independent survey companies in the UK. And we specialise on a wide range of measure survey services, ranging from topographical measure building and utility mapping surveys. And predominantly what we use the surveyed app for is undertaking our manhole inspections and our duct inspection surveys that supplement all of our AS128 surveys as well. We also have some experience in using the PGM app to aid when we've done, sort of done control establishment surveys for large clients in the sort of engineering sector. I see you use both. Um, most companies you tend to use one or the other, but that's good. Um, so yeah, I was before the call, I was looking back through all our, our emails and stuff, um, and we can be going back since about 2018. But if you if you're able to cast your mind back before the, before then, um, can you describe what was the process like where you would uh, capture the information about these manholes or PGMs out on site, and then um, you know, like produce the deliverables that you needed to from them. Yeah, so going going way back before we sort of went went digital, I've everything was done on paper. It was either done on pre-printed out templates of, of A4 paper, which were annotated by the surveyor on site, or they were handwritten into a, a yellow survey book, and then all of that information was taken back to the office and then hand inputted again into the final format that the client received. And it was a very time-consuming labor task process and it was just an absolute pain to do so when we, we heard of this opportunity to, to, to sort of digital, digitize the whole system we, we sort of just had to jump on board and, and see what it was about um and was that is it the surveyors themselves that when they got back to the office would would input all this information or do you have kind of separate back office staff to do um different parts of the organization so we do have a production office who would sort of deal with the sort of larger projects, but some of the smaller projects, the surveyors themselves would spend lots, lots of hours, you know, cataloging this information and, and making sure everything was right before passing everything over for QA. So not only was that eaten into potential survey time, it was also sort of not productive to have multiple people looking at information and especially as you know the great British weather sort of tells us if, if you're out on site and bits of paper are getting wet or you know just bits of paper get lost in the van if it's maybe been two or three weeks be between undertaking manhole one and, and becoming back to the office <coughs> it can often be sort of unclear as to what was what was going on and you know three or three o'clock in the morning on a night shift the surveyor sort of handwriting deteriorate to a point where no one else can sort of interpret it so these all these issues sort of we're facing on a, on a daily basis you know going going back in time and using this app now we just don't have any of these issues because everything is catalogued on on the android device that all the surveyors have and it's uploaded to a cloud portal where someone else can access that data immediately and start working on it. Okay. Um, do you have kind of like a rough idea? I'm sure it fluctuates, but sort of how many manholes and PGMs and stuff you tend to do per month, or is it kind of yeah. peaks and troughs? Yeah, I mean, certainly everything is going up because the amount of surveys we're doing and, and clients as a whole are actually asking for more and more metadata as part of the surveys. So on average, I would say, you know, we're doing anything between 100 and 150 manholes per month out on using, using the app. And that, that sort of spread between a, a team of around 12 users just now. So although it doesn't seem quite a lot, but, you know, a lot of the surveys that clients are still asking, they're, they're, some of them are still quite low key, but certainly when it comes to the, the larger utility mapping projects, manhole and duct asset cards are always done as standard. And, and certainly we've seen quite a little rise in the number of CCTV 
inquiries that we've had to supplement GPR survey information, and these are always certainly going to have some sort of manhole sewer record card to sort of supplement that data. So the past few months, there has been a sharp increase in the number of exports we're getting from the system. And do you have any kind of idea of how long it would take you to do all the processing uh, back in the day when it was all paper based and um, yeah, so way, way, books and things? Way, way back in the day, the time it's taken um, to actually complete a card hasn't changed. But what has changed is the efficiencies that we're saving and by the time that card gets to the office. So way back when it used to take a surveyor or a CAD technician around about half an hour per card to type it up to get it to a standard that would be presentable to a client. But now using the surveyed system, if the card is done correctly in the field, it requires about five, 10 minutes of CAD time just to sort of finalize it and then get it sort of packaged up ready for the client. And the site time remains consistent at around 10 to 15 minutes per card. That's good. So, um, so what does the process look like now then, as opposed to um, get back to the office, get the notebook out, and then uh, start going through and trying to match up pictures of manholes and to, yeah, the pro process is very streamlined because as the surveyors complete the on-site, the data is already on the cloud waiting for someone to look at. So all they need to do is log into the system, type in the job number that it relates to, and everything comes up from you know coordinate data to photographs, sketches, everything is in that portal ready to be looked at, and it just needs correlated to the survey information on, on the CAD drawn. Brilliant. Um, loads quicker. Um, and is there any uh, kind of particular like large jobs or, or anything where you've been able to evaluate the, the time savings in the process using a survey as compared to how long it would have taken back in the day? Uh, certainly some of the jobs that you sort of think to that we've done in recent times where it's like large city centre environments and um, hospitals where there's in excess of 300 covers that we've done across the job to, you know, having that turned around in the space of a couple of days to, to get the final deliverables out. If this was done years ago, we would have had someone sitting for weeks on end doing nothing but manhole and asset card. It would almost have been a full-time job for someone because the, the amount of data that they have to have input and as the specifications have grown over time, so has the amount of data that's actually been requested. And what we found as well, it's been very easy to get something built into the app that are required for a specific job or if we need things in a specific format, the, the support we've all often received from you has been top class. Yeah, because uh, thinking about your particular app, actually, I remember that you had a big job that we built to form into the, the app just specifically for that one job because it was worth worth doing. So, um, good, good. Glad to glad to hear that it's uh, working well. Yeah. Um, and when we when we were developing that uh, custom app for you, I think there was there was yourself and maybe a couple of others that kind of worked on it and field tested it and kind of iterated it to the point where it was ready to roll out to the rest of the team, if you like. Um, how did the, the, the kind of wider team find it when it was introduced to them and, and adapt to it and um, C certainly move in? It was, it was quite a gradual uptake because a, a lot of the staff, you know, they, they had worked that way for years and sometimes they didn't see the need for change to that. That was the system they were used to, but actually once we sort of took the time and, and we sort of got company training day organised and we sort of showed them the, the possibilities of what they could do with this and how much time it would save, it actually became apparent that more people were wanting to try this and sort of <clears> see it for themselves because they didn't quite believe that it would be so quick and efficient and, you know, it would cut down the amount of questions that someone would be asked by a data processing technician to interpret handwriting or where's the photos for this manhole in, in relation to this. So, you know, after we sort of showed people how the, how the app work, it was a really good uptake and it's now part of a sort of standard process that when a new member of staff comes on board and they're going to be doing manhole inspection surveys that they're actually set up in an account with the user manual and we sort of 
get them to work, get them do a couple of tests, make sure it's it's all good on their systems and that they're set, set to work. And it's such an easy system to use that, you know, as long as the data is captured on site, it can be put out in any format that we want. We've got a number of formats that we use depending on what level of information the client has specified. So as long as all the fields are populated, you know, the, the data is always going to be there. And even if the client comes back and says, actually, can we get this level of information, that the information is there without having to revisit the site. Yeah. Good stuff. And so now that surveys are kind of in place, rolled out across everybody, um, how has that affected your team? Like, how is it, have you got a more free capacity to do more survey work with the same number of surveyors because yeah. they're not spending all day yeah. typing all this information up? Yeah, de definitely. Yeah. So even even just across the whole company. So where years ago, it would have been a full time job for a, a data processing technician or a survey assistant to sort of collate all that information together. That member of staff now free to sort of focus on other things, likewise in the field, where it would have been possibly a survey assistant's job or a surveyor's job to collect the manhole information, because this, the scope of the survey has has grown so much. So there's, there's other things, you know, such as GPR data collection to be undertaken, there's um, topographic pickup to be done, there, there's just general sort of tracing elements because 10 to 15 minutes and we've got a card that's 98% complete done in the field that frees up so much time within the company and, and we've sort of reaped the benefits for that over the years. Excellent. Well, um, really glad to hear that it's survey's been a, an effective tool if you're over there at Malcolm Hughes, um, thank you very much for, for sharing some of the feedback. Um, nice to catch up as always. And yep. uh, I'm sure we will uh, keep in touch as, as time goes on and keep uh, evolving the system and hopefully uh, we'll make it even better for you. Yeah, no, def definitely. We're always sort of looking forward to working with you, Jimmy, and there's certainly going to be opportunities to improve the app in the future as the sort of industry moves forward and it's sort of clients want ever, ever more data. So look, look forward to working with you in the future. Great. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much. Cheers.